hello guys welcome to my channel in today's video i'll make one pot kidney beans or rajma it goes really well with rice and chapatis so i've already soaked a cup of rajma overnight and after 10 to 12 hours this soak up water and swell up to this size so i'll discard this water and wash them twice with clean water and set them aside for gravy we need ginger, garlic, tomatoes, green chilli and onion. For 1 cup of rajma, I used half an onion, 1 and half tomatoes, 1 inch ginger piece, 1 big clove of garlic and 1 green chilli. You can adjust it according to your taste as well. So adding 1 to 2 tablespoon of olive oil to the pressure cooker and once it heats up, I'm gonna add cumin seeds and esophytida or hink. And then I'm gonna add garlic, ginger, green chili followed by onion. After two minutes, you can see the oil is separated. At this point, I'm going to add tomatoes and I'm going to mix them really well. Now adding the spices, I'm going to add salt, turmeric, red chili powder, coriander or cilantro seeds powder. Rajma masala. You can get this at any Indian grocery store. And I'll mix all those spices really well. After five to six minutes, you'll see the oil will get separated from rest of the curry paste. So I'm gonna add the soaked rajma. And I'll try and coat the masala. Now add around 2 cups of water. And mix it well. Close the lid and cook it for 5 to 6 whistles on medium high flame. Before opening let it cool down and while mixing just mash some rajma with the spoon to make it more creamy. Add 1 teaspoon of kasuri methi or dried fenugreek leaves. Mix everything well while mashing some of it and add some coriander leaves to garnish thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye bye